think my favorite moment uh, was standing on top of Big Red at the uh, end of the crossing of the Simpson Desert with everybody. Walking up and seeing all four of the icons all parked together for the first time. You know, cresting a dune, we just saw this sliver of orange on the horizon. It was the moon rising. It was just beautiful. Dina. Dina. Yeah. <laughs> It was probably the end of the day yesterday as the sun was setting and we were all jumping off the hood of the Hilux and getting awesome shots with Michael. I've always wanted to cross the Simpson Desert as a, as a journalist. I think once we pulled into Birdsville, even though it was two o'clock in the morning, that sense of accomplishment of, of, of having reached Birdsville with all the vehicles um, was probably my favorite moment. Probably really hard to beat um, all of us sitting in a 38 degree um, bath at Dalhousie Springs just discussing what we thought we had in store for us across the Simpson and a really nice relaxing start to the desert crossing. The landy got stuck in that big mud hole rut, had to back it out, had to pull it out with the toe strap and then 30 minutes later it shut down on us. We had probably, I don't know, two or three sand dunes to go, it was dark and all of a sudden the lights went out on the Defender. And then the radio went out and everything went out. So I couldn't tell anyone what was going on and it was pitch black. Uh, biggest challenge had to be that long day where the 40 broke down and we towed it and then got into uh, Birdsville at midnight. You know, getting across all those dunes and all those water crossings after dark when we couldn't see was, was really challenging. That was probably driving into Birdsville after um, quite a few mechanical uh, breakdowns but still at the same time, really fun. It was probably towing the 40 series out of the desert. So, um, for 200 odd kilometers. Uh, the biggest challenge was getting drug across the Simpson Desert on the end of a tow strap behind the 79 series. When the drawbar broke on the trailer and we had to weld it back up again. I've never used a um, battery operated MIG before. What a gem of a machine that was. Sitting atop Big Red at, at 10 o'clock at night with a full moon and Skytrek, the whole, the whole trip at Skytrek and particularly the lookouts were just brilliant. The Birdsville track, uh, about halfway down there along the open fields. Um, conditions were a little bit tough but it was great fun. That night at Mungarani, that's one of my favourite hotels and, and we certainly made the most of the facilities there and we had a very good night. It has to be the Mungarani Hotel. Just quite a character that runs the place. Every location had to be Dalhousie Hot Springs. Dalhousie Springs was uh, certainly a good time. Big Red. Driving through the Flinders, seeing the rocks, climbing all those different hills, all the wildlife, all the kangaroos, and all the other critters we saw out there, bunny rabbits. Didn't see any koala bears or crocodiles. Cool. Killer spiders. Yet. Yet.